High probability sell trade there. High probability sells coming in here. High probability sells coming in there. High probability buy trade coming in here. At that stage, probably high probability buy because it was still sweeping, but I would no longer be buying for the sweep at this stage. So if you'd bought through that phase there, and if you'd sold through these phases here, and if you'd bought through this phase here, you've undoubtedly made money. It'd be almost impossible not to have made money in that little series of uh, sweeps. So we're going to touch on the sweep trade again this afternoon. We have already done a classroom on it, so it's not new information, but we want to make sure you guys understand the sweep trade in its entirety uh, so that you can actually start trading it. Yeah, we were spot on, weren't we? We, we uh, gave a tweet there, um, I got hours ago. You can see here that uh, 79 wholesale price holding for the moment, watching for dollar offers. That was at 11 o'clock this morning, and obviously the supply line had changed into demand at 79. So we told you that at 11 o'clock this morning. So obviously if you liked it enough, you were then looking for that as a possible play off of those prints. Now, we, we tweeted that out at what time did we say? 11 o'clock, 10.55. So this was the actual starting point for that trade here. 10.55 going forward. So somewhere about here, you you now know that 79 is probably now the, the baseline key. And you can see we've had a couple of buyers exposed here. See it? Buyers exposed. So you're still thinking to yourself, squeeze that downside, squeeze that downside into those areas. And we can recognize that in most of the occasions, we start getting what, on this occasion, we've got exhaustion here, haven't we? And then we start seeing a bit of a press here, and then we see exhaustion. So you're starting to look at that as an exhaustion print there. But what a nice takeaway, guys. 79 sevens traded 79 seventies for about $600 of buy side beautifulness. That's a good trade, guys. Absolutely nothing wrong with that bit of business. I'm telling you, nothing wrong with that bit of business for sure. When you see it in terms of the supply demand, why were we so confident about that trade? Well, because if you look at this chart here, this is the sell from the RGL, of course, last night, 8080s, the London Brent 8045, and then the bottom edge at 79. You can see that the blue line overtook the red line into the bottom edge. It was still dropping, but it overtook it, suggesting that if we see any buy side pressure now, the red line will be above the blue line, giving you demand in the marketplace. And you can see that that demand showed up right across the spectrum here, especially when it came to the crack spread. We started to see the demand showing up in the crack spread as well as the Brent WTI spreads, as well as the calendar spreads. There's the perfect buy trade right there, isn't it? And obviously in line with that perfect buy trade during that period there, that's what this trade is here. You see the same time in the, the charts there, 1300 hours to 1330. There it is, that's the trade, it's exhaustion. And obviously the takeaway from that was very, very, very good. So we've got the demand becomes visible, the trade sets up, it's on the crack spread, it's on the Brent WTI spreads, it is a very, very good trade. Takeaway was pro really positive as well. Big money.